Hey daydreamers! So without letting them know what they were choosing or why they were choosing books, I asked some of my friends to choose some books from a big pile of books. And what I'm going to do is, my aim is to read the books that they've chosen before the end of the year. And not only that, I'm going to allow them to shame me if I have not read them. As well as letting you guys shame me if I have not read them. So, let's begin. The first pick was The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Now, fortunately, I have already read this book, so it's a bit of a cheat. But I do want to reread it. And I have obviously started from my previous videos. I'm still on page about 60 of this reread. So I need to finish it. So this is going to hopefully be read very soon. So the second book they chose was With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Acevedo, I'm not sure how to say her name, really sorry. This is a book that I've been really, really wanting to read for a long time. I'm not great with verse, so I haven't read her first book, Poet X, yet because I really struggle. Um, but this one, I believe, yeah, it's just a normal novel. So I'm hoping that means I can enjoy it a little bit more. And then if I enjoy this one, I'll probably try Poet X despite it being a verse novel. So we'll see how that goes. The next book they chose for me was The Bone Witch by Rin Chepeko. And again, I've been actually been reading, meaning to read this one for a really long time. Lauren absolutely loves it and loves Rin. And I have been dying to read it since seeing her review of it so I know it's one that I'm definitely going to be reading soon and yeah now I have to do it before the end of the year. This one is one that I should have read last year so I'm really pleased that they chose this and I'm not surprised they chose this and that is uh, Viper by Bex Hogan and again I have started this I've read like a chapter of it so I just need to continue reading it and it's actually one that I wanted to read this month anyway I don't think it's going to happen now but hopefully July will be the time to read this one. The next book on the list is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. Again, this is a book that I've been dying to read for years and just haven't got around to doing it. Now that I finally have a copy, I have no excuses. This is gonna get read before December. Last, but certainly not least, is a book that I've been dying to read again for a really long time. I think I actually started reading it in July last year, so it's about time to like finish it or even read more than just a sentence and that is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So this was actually on my five anticipated reads so yeah we can tell how much I really 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 want to read this one so I need to get on with that like ASAP. And that is everything so there's six books six months left in the year one book a month. Doable? I would say so. But I'm also a massive mood reader and lots of these books have been on my TBR for over a year already. So will they get read? So I'm gonna try and do like updates once a month to find out whether or not I've actually read any of these books yet. So keep an eye on for videos to find out if I've actually read any and when I read them I'm hoping to do a video review of them all as well so more content for you guys because you're awesome and that's everything from me today give me a like if you like the video comment down below especially which ones I should read first or if you enjoyed the books too and uh, give give a little subscribe to the channel all right see you later bye